Okay, so DD, this defines a description or value of a term in a description list. So DL is description list, um, and DD will define the description, and DT is the term. So you have a description list, the term is coffee, the description is black hot drink. All right. Uh, let's see. So DEL, this will, um, this defines text that has been deleted from a document. So it's just crossed out here. And INS is the inserted text. Okay. Uh, details, this, these uh, define additional details that the user can view or hide. Um, it's used to create an interactive widget that the user can open and close, and any sort of content can be put in here. Um, but it should not be visible unless the open attribute is set. So you can see here, uh, here's, here are the details and the summary. And if you click here, then you can kind of see everything that you put inside of there. It's only supported in Opera, Chrome, and Safari right now, but it might change. Uh, DFN, is it, this represents the defining instance of a term. So you can see here, HTML italicized and then defined right here. Um, it's often the first use of a term in a document. And yeah. Dialog defines a dialog box or window. Uh, let's see. So you have a table and table row, table header, and you put a dialog uh, box right here. So this will just open a window. And this is also only in Chrome, Safari, or Opera. Uh, and what is it for? It's just, it makes it easy to create a pop up dialog or modal on a web page. So div just define this defines a section in the document. So this um, it helps you group block elements and then you can style them in CSS. So here you just have this section enclosed in a div element and then you can style it uh, to have blue text. DL defines the description list. We saw this earlier with um, DD. So this is the list, term, and description. Okay. Uh, DT, description term. Um, EM defines emphasized text. So this is just basically like italic. Okay. And Embed defines a container for an external application. So like here, it has a uh, flash embedded is the source. So uh, it's just for an external app or interactive content, like a plugin. The field set groups related elements inside of a form. So It'll, it'll draw a box around the related elements. You can see you have a form here and then a field set. Um, the legend is personalia and then name, email, date of birth. So it just helps you to keep that kind of separate and organized. A fig caption, this will define a caption for a figure element. So you have a figure here and the image inside of it. And then the caption will be within that element, just kind of describing uh, like an image or whatever uh, is inside the figure. So, and then we just talked about figure is just 
um, just specify self-contained content like uh, photos, illustrations, diagrams. Okay. And we'll do footer, which defines a footer for a document or section. So you'll just put this at the end of your HTML document to keep all of those details kind of separate. 